Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to online study for you, a complete placement solution. Our friends, today we have Ayushi Sarma with us, and she has got selected in Walmart, one of the top paid MNC. So definitely, I, I do not have to tell about the package. Uh, you all will be definitely knowing the package is 10 plus LPA. It's a top MNC. So today, uh, IOC will be uh, here. She will be discussing about the written test pattern, the her experience with written test, and then interviews, and all those things she will be discussing. So before we proceed with the further things, so I would like to congratulate IOC. So congratulations, IOC, for getting selected in Walmart. Uh, thank you so much, sir, and thank you for inviting me. So uh, this floor, I am going to give it to you completely. So basically, uh, the student here would like to know, like, how to get selected in Walmart? How did you apply? And you know, uh, what was the interview round? Uh, sorry, written round. What are the, uh, you know, type of patterns? Like basically, and the duration uh, of the each and every subject, and then little bit detail in the interview. How to prepare for interview? And definitely, it's a a uh, dream company for everyone uh, to getting selected in Walmart. So yeah, so you can proceed from here. Uh, so whole, so the whole recruitment process was divided into three parts. First was the online test. Then it was the uh, then there were technical interviews and then there were the there was the hiring manager round. Mm -hmm. So first I'll uh, I'll talk about the online test. So uh, the online test was further divided into two parts. First mm -hmm. part had. 30 MCQs of data structure and algorithms and OOPs concepts and CS subjects based. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was uh, the online test was conducted on a platform dare to compete mm -hmm. in that online uh, in that 30 MCQ test. Uh, we were given a uh, half an hour and mm -hmm. we have to uh, like attempt 30 MCQs in that half an hour. Mm -hmm. So uh, and after that 30 MCQ test, we had a uh, another test which comprised of two coding questions. Mm -hmm. So the aggregate marks of the 30 MCQ test and the two coding question test, the aggregate will be calculated. Mm -hmm. And the, on the basis of that, we, uh, the, like, we will be shortlisted according to the marks. So once the shortlisting is done, and I, I forgot to mention that in the online coding test, we were given one hour. Mm -hmm. So two coding questions in one hour. So the, uh, base, on the basis of this, we were short, shortlisted. And then there were technical rounds. Mm -hmm. So there were two technical rounds. We got informed like the selection result came uh, like in after the online test, like about four to five days after that, we got the results and the interviews were scheduled like in the next week or two weeks. So uh, there were two technical interviews. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll talk deeply about the interviews. Mm -hmm. So in the first technical interview, we uh, like we talked the interviewer and I had a discussion on my projects, what projects I've made. He just asked me about one project from my resume. Mm -hmm. So uh, that I explained thoroughly. Mm -hmm. And after that, he asked me about uh, DBMS questions, SQL queries. And then he uh, gave me two coding questions, which I have to write code. And first I have to tell the approach and then I have to write the code. And that was asked in the first uh, technical round. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, I got selected for the second round, for the second technical round. In the second technical round, we started with OOPS concepts, uh, some uh, OOPS concepts and operating system questions. Mm -hmm. And after that, he again gave me two coding questions, which I have to do. Mm -hmm. I first, I have to tell the approach and I, then I have to code it out. So the uh, code editor, like we, we can share our screen. So the, any, there, there is no constraint on the code editor. We can use any code editor. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, the second technical round was completed and um, I was selected for the hiring manager round. Mm -hmm. So that was the third round in hiring manager round. What we did, uh, the, there was a, a like hiring manager and he was, he did ask everything from my resume, like all the projects I have done mm -hmm. or deeply like cross question from the projects and all, all the internships I have done, what I what work I have done in the internships, what I learned from them, and all those different cross questioning he did with me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was like uh, the interview duration, I can say for the technical rounds was around one hour, mm -hmm. uh, maybe one hour, five minutes, and some sometime like above, above one hour and mm -hmm. more than one hour. Mm -hmm. And for the hiring manager round, it was approximately 40 minutes, for 35 to 40 minutes. Okay. Like okay. so kind of a discussion with the manager. Mm -hmm. 
so after that after the hiring manager round i got the uh, like the results mm-hmm. so basically uh, for some people like for some people the, a third technical round was also conducted mm-hmm. before the hiring manager round okay. uh, but it was like uh, two in two in 50 like very very rare case but for some there was there was a third technical round also okay so uh, the one question which we missed out here so how did you apply for walmart yes so uh, there was a uh, i i got to know about a job opportunity on mm-hmm. dare to compete platform there was mm-hmm. a, a uh, like a contest mm-hmm. uh, through which walmart was hiring so i applied for that and then i gave the online test and for the rounds okay so if i want to summarize whatever you have said so there will be uh, online test so there will be two online test will be there one you said like of mcq set of mcqs of 30 mcqs for 30 minutes and then we had the second online test uh, you mentioned like you had the coding question uh, to be done over there and then uh, followed by that once you uh, come out from that uh, once you get selected then you'll have two technical rounds uh, technical round 1 and technical round 2 and both combinedly was for one hour i mean more than one hour or how it is no one technical round one uh, one hour oh one technical round one hour oh my god yes. okay so, so again like we... one hour okay so again you crossed all those things and then the hiring uh, manager round so there was no other round only five five round but i know i can understand like what is the level of the walmart and it will be definitely uh, difficult so uh, the next question is what was your source of preparation like how did you prepare uh, for this uh, technical rounds or hr manager round or the online test uh, because now we are clear okay so dare to compete uh, is the platform that is how you applied for this test so now how uh, did you prepare what was your source of preparation the same way the student will also follow that so basically um, the technical rounds were focused more on the data structure and algorithms or like the coding test coding round was also focused on the data structure and algorithm problems so uh, i practiced them from different platforms like leet code we have we have leet for leets uh, and different uh, code forces so practice from all those uh, platforms uh, yes okay great and uh, how do you see like online study for you helped you in any ways or uh, it is helping other student uh, so basically uh, we like online study for you is helping such a way that because in, if if you, if i look in the first round in the online round where i have 30 mcqs so uh, that kind of speed or that kind of uh, practice which i learned from on- online study for you because i followed many aptitude videos and during my preparation of placements so that uh, practice helped me a lot during this test online test because uh, there were 30 mcqs which needed to be done in 30 minutes yes, so yes. like one mcq per one like one minute one so minute. it's it's kind of difficult to do that in that span of time so uh, it like online study for you helped me uh, in this because i practiced from this platform and it really helped me okay uh, so one more thing i wanted to add here uh, so which you told so data structure and algorithm uh, it's really a uh, i mean you should have a very good command on that uh, because most of the companies those who pay well are definitely looking for the student uh, those who have a very good knowledge of data structure and algorithm and that's how i came to your uh, came to know about your channel uh, which is with the name of ayushi sharma and i saw you have done a lot of videos you know uh, on data structure and algorithm and i i was quite impressed also with your videos so definitely uh, the student look you know looking to learn more about uh, dsa uh, will definitely follow your uh, channel uh, which is with the name of ayushi sharma um so i see so it was a nice session with you and i am i'm damn sure like everyone dream is to you know get a package of um, more than 10 lakhs per annum or something like that because uh, most of the mncs like which is master tutor uh, they won't pay you well uh, so it's a dream come true uh, i know for you also and those who are watching the videos they will be also very excited to uh, get into that so the first hurdle uh, was like how to apply and then how to prepare so we have you know got enough information from that so before we you know end the session i wanted you to give some tips and tricks to the student uh, like you know the, how much effort they should put and uh, how should uh, how they should save their dream uh, to get into all those things and i know definitely in the comment section you will be also helping a student but i wanted to hear from you yeah so basically so first first milestone is to clear the online test 
so for that you should like think your problem solving skill should be good you should think fast and since i talked about the 30 mcq so you should be you should have enough practice that you can solve 30 mcqs in 30 minutes so for that you you can you have to take mock tests and you can learn from different right different yes, uh, yes. when you're come uh, like preparing for companies and all so that you need to do you should be good at uh, that and after again that data structure and algorithms you need to be good at because for the technical rounds that is required <laughs> and apart from that uh, like different companies also ask cs subjects like operating system computer networks dbms True. oops so that also you need to have uh, like knowledge of um, and you should make good projects uh, minimum two projects is uh, uh, like sufficient but if you have three that's also good that's great so yeah that's that's okay uh so thanks i use for the input and uh, definitely uh, this is going to help many uh so thank you for coming to our platform and guiding a student through